The problem is, when it comes to romance, Daryl is clueless. We've been together 10 years, and in the 10 years, he's remembered Valentine's Day once. Yeah, I'm not into Valentine's Day. I'm not into the romantic... Ugh. If there was a competition for the most unromantic man in Ireland, he'd probably win. <laughs> Men can't be seen to be romantic. And you're planning my wedding? Yeah. For Valentine's. Could be great. <laughs> And it's not just their ideas of romance that differ. A joiner by trade, Daryl's never happier than when he heads outdoors for a spot of do-it-yourself. I'm a country guy. I was born and reared in the country, outdoors type person. Like being outside and like being in the air, fresh air. <laughs> Loader's days couldn't be more different. Hi, I'm Toto, one of the doctors. Hi. As a newly qualified doctor, her time is spent almost entirely indoors. I had to work really hard to get into medical school, but you have to be very organised and very focused and able to get the job done, but it was all worth it. And the differences don't end there. <laughs> I like classical music. I like Irish music. I like plain, sort of neutral colours. Oh, bright colours. Glow in the dark paint. That's brilliant. I wanted a big dog. Oh, a small dog. It has to be a small dog. We got a small dog. Can I take the dog with me? <laughs> no. We are the most mismatched couple you could possibly get. On paper, it should not work. It makes no sense, but it just works perfectly. And it's not just their different tastes that worry Clyda, because when DIY Daryl does it himself, anything can happen. I would describe him as a bit off the wall, liable to do anything, a bit dangerous maybe with his ideas running away. I do get tunnel vision. I see something and... Just go with it and I can't be swayed. I'm dreading the thoughts of what Daryl might do. So DIY Daryl, the bride's little brother and a bloke from IT set to work planning a day of heartfelt romance. Look, I don't want anybody to ever forget this wedding. It's got to be super romantic. Okay, You know how romantic I am. This is, this is changing now. This is changing now. My plan is I want to be a Knight in shining armour. White horse has to be white horse. Hopefully going to go through this kind of a foresty kind of place. And this is where we're going to have our reception, right? Now, we're going to, we're, we're going to have to create this. This what, what I want is not out there. What I really want is kind of, kind of teepees. <laughs> Daryl wastes no time showing the best men his DIY teepee prototype, which, like the rest of the wedding, he's planning to build from scratch. I think it's class. I think it's going to be lethal. If we can get it working well, I think it's going to look deadly. But it's going to be an awful lot of work, but sure. I am loving this. I really am. I get to use my chainsaw. On the ground. Huge amount of room out here. There's lots of space. That's perfect for the TPs, though. Perfect. We put two big, massive TPs there. Yeah. Have our fire going in, have people in there messing around. We've got our forest coming back here. I like the idea of the trail. You'd have your torches yeah. and lights and candles coming yeah. down here. Down to the teepees. You do something good here, oh, you do good. You would. It's the outside venue that I've been looking for. Yeah. All we need to do is just clean. That's it. So that's the field sorted. But what if it rains? Well, no problem. Daryl's got that covered too. We have it. <laughs> Done. Done. The community centre doesn't just have a grubby old field. It's got a grubby old badminton court too. We can make this romantic, can't we? If we get drapes, yeah. and we get a bit of star claw. Star we... claw be deadly in yeah. here. Oh. And we get a kilometre of fairy lights. We have everything we want here. Yeah. We have our space. Outside, we'll have our teepees. And if everybody gets bored, game of badminton. <laughs> yeah. We have just found exactly what we want. Perfect. But is it available? Actually, I was just out at the hall there, and uh, it's exactly what we're after. What do you normally charge for a night in there? Th thank you very much. He says, well, he says it'd be about 10 pounds. <laughs> We're doing it. We have our venue. Happy days. That's the answer. So the reception hall's booked for a tenner, and it's worth every penny. Although it could take the remaining £11,990 to transform the space. Whoever said this would be tough? <laughs> Nothing to it. <laughs>